Competition between Tencent and ByteDance. Tencent Games is at the top of China's TikTok advertising list, which is surprising. Tencent Holdings has paid for an advert on the splash screen of ByteDance's Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok, raising eyebrows amid increasing competition between the two tech giants as the latter moves into gaming and payment. Tencent Games' 15-second advert on Douyin, the most popular short video app in China, features Tencent's senior vice president Stephen Ma, the unit's boss and is aimed at promoting Tencent Games' ambitious rebranding campaign. However, some Chinese netizens were surprised that the Shenzhen-based giant has opted to advertise on the platform of its rising Beijing-based rival, particularly given the turf wars and legal tussles between the two in recent years. It's definitely an interesting development and could mean a sign of an improving relationship, but it could also be just temporary, said Owen So, founder of gaming consultancy Eastlab Consulting. ByteDance did not immediately respond to a request for comment. A Tencent spokesman declined to comment beyond confirming that Douyin is one of the promotional channels for its game. In 2018 Tencent sued ByteDance and an affiliated company for posting defamatory statements, seeking token compensation of 1 yuan. ByteDance then countersued Tencent, accusing the latter of using its dominant market position to eliminate competition referring to blocked links and video. The same year Tencent also sued ByteDance's Shigua video for hosting videos of Honor of King, Tencent's marquee game. Tencent in 2019 sued Douyin, Shigua, and an array of other ByteDance platforms for hosting videos containing games Tencent owned. Last November a court in Shenzhen ruled that Tencent was entitled to compensation of 550,000 yuan from Douyin. TikTok's sister app Douyin launches payment service partners with CCTV. Tencent and ByteDance lead China's tech industry in terms of user time spent on their products, according to app tracking firm QuestMobile. As of June last year, the country's netizens spend about 39.5% of their time on Tencent-branded products and 15.3% on ByteDance products. However, the share of user time spent on Tencent products declined 4.3% from June 2019 to June 2020, whereas ByteDance's share rose 3.3% over the same period. In recent times, ByteDance has made a move on Tencent's gaming empire by building up its own gaming division. Experts see ByteDance's long-term strategy as mimicking that of Tencent, namely, pairing social media with video games to make more money. Tencent is the world's biggest gaming company by revenue. Liao Xiuhua, an analyst for Beijing-based consultancy Analyses, said Tencent has actually been using ByteDance's platforms to promote its games for some time, despite their headline-grabbing fight. Nevertheless, Tencent Games has invested very little on ByteDance platforms compared to other companies in the industry, said Liao, because their advertising units are in competition. China's TikTok finds growth with financial content in a slowing industry. Chinese media outlet 36 Krona reported that Tencent's decision to return to Douyin as a promotional channel came after Stephen Ma commented on the success of Alibaba Group Holdings' recent breakout game, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Strategy Edition. In an internal meeting, Ma reportedly ascribed the success of the new game to the user acquisition strategy, which involved continual ad spending on Douyin for over a year. Douyin has been an enormously valuable traffic source for the entire gaming industry, said Jing Jintiao, co-founder of online media outlet Gamer Boom. He said that Tencent's move to deploy ads on Douyin was aimed at directing better traffic to its game. Nevertheless, some analysts expect the two tech titans to remain in tight competition in the years ahead particularly as ByteDance continues to diversify away from its core strengths in short video and into gaming, education and mobile payment. Intense rivalry between the two will continue, said Ding Daosher, director of research at internet consultancy Su2 in Beijing. But we will also see them try to find ways to work together in some select areas in future. Alibaba owns the South China Morning Post.